today I'm going to be opening up bronze, silver, and gold Pokemon mystery boxes. I purchased all three of these from a random eBay seller, so we're going to start off with the lowest tier and work our way all the way up until we get to that gold tier box. Inside each of these boxes contains one PSA graded card that increasingly gets rare as we progress through the tiers. So let's get started with our first box. All right, so let's get started with the bronze box. This one was $35, I think. So it's kind of cool. There's like a Pikachu on the top here. It says Pokemon. Um, obviously this is from like a random eBay seller, so I purchased this under a different name and everything like that, so they don't know that they're sending them to me. And as always, none of this stuff is sponsored. But anyway, let's just get into this first box and see what we got. Oh, and I actually forgot, I wanted to give away every single card that we pull in today's video. Set to the giveaway, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, down below in the comment section, let me know which one of these boxes you think is going to be the best one today. Alright, yeah, so we're going to have three different winners, and uh, this is going to be for the first giveaway winner let's see what we got here so we're starting it off we have the beautiful packing peanuts to protect everything but i see a bunch of stuff so let's get all these out of the way here and it looks like we have an evolving skies booster pack to start this off all right this is a beautiful start i mean this is a five dollar booster pack these things again well the bronze one anyway is 35 dollars. so we already got five dollars in value here i'm curious to see what kind of value we get out of these things uh, just pack wise and actually like really curious to see what kind of a great a card we can get in here so our first booster pack, what's it going to be? Eevee, Cutie Fly, Pikachu, Zapdos, and a Glaceon V card. That's actually not too bad. I usually don't get too excited about regular Vs, but an evolution is always nice. And it looks like the next item here is going to be a Fusion Strike booster pack. All right, Fusion Strike's not too bad. We'll take it. So, Sword and Shield error here. We should have three booster packs inside of this. Um, and then I think we're going to start getting to the other stuff that's in there. We got Judge, Excadrill. We got a Gligar, Slugma, Skitty, Blinx, Coolfish, into a non hollow hit. All right, next up, we got a Chilling Rain Booster Pack. All right, so in total, value wise, we got about $11 out of here so far, but we're not even at the graded card yet. And we're about to see, I believe, um, like all the other cards that are in here. I don't know how many. It's going to be interesting. Do you think we'll get better packs as we progress through these boxes as well? Or do you think they'll be the same style? Porygon 2 and then a non-holo. Ooh, okay. Here we go. So on the left side, let's start with this one. There's our graded card down there. So it looks like we might have maybe a bunch of hollows in here. I'm not sure. All right. Let's see what we got in here. So, oh, they're all individually sleeved, which is pretty nice. Um, so let's go. Oops. Okay, now we're just flying. Okay, maybe they're not all individual sleep. Uh, okay, so we do have just like random cards here. So commons right here. Maybe it's kind of like um, a handmade pack or something. Pokeball into a Palkia celebration hollow hit. All right, so it was like 25, 50 cents of value in that one. But we do have this, which looks really interesting. We have a shiny Elder Gross V on the front here. I don't know what else could be. Got it. Okay. Um, so a full art shiny. Interesting. Eligross V, um, that is a promo card that you got on the top of the tins from Shining Fates. Trubbish, so now it looks like we're just moving into more commons. Maybe another one of these sort of like just handmade packs. And then a Ho-Oh Celebrations. These are pretty much common cards though. All right, so total right now we're looking at about $12 in value out of the packs and cards we got. It all is going to come down to this PSA graded card, whatever this could be. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a Stone Journer regular hollow. Okay. I mean, these are only $35, though. So let's see. It's a Rebel Clash hollow. Is it going to be a 10, though, or a 9? Okay, it's a 9. It is a 9. Nothing too crazy here. All right. So I don't think anybody really grades these. I did find a 10 of this. That one for like $12. So I would just assume a 9 maybe is worth about $6. So we got maybe like $20 in value out of the bronze one. You know, it was $35. It was free shipping. I think about the packing and the packaging and all that stuff too. So yeah, it's, it's a fun little thing for like $35. Moving on to the silver tier. This one goes for around $43. Um, yeah, it says basically the same thing on here except that it says one PSA graded ultra rare or better card, but it says the same over here. So I don't really know what to expect. I guess the card would be just definitely not a hollow, um, but are we upgrading our packs? Um, it looks like I actually have something different. I think that's a darkness of blaze. Yes. All right. So we got a darkness of blaze here. All right. Potential to pull a Charizard V max. Maybe let's see what we could do out of here. Um, well, that's a green code card. That's a very bad sign. I think I'll just go straight through this one since we already saw that. 
Phoebus, I don't think you can get anything if it's a green. Actually, I have before with Darkness. Not this one, though. Next up, it looks like we are going to have another Fusion Strike. All right, this one's a staple. I think that was a good code card. Let's go straight through this one. Mining, Baltoy, this is the silver tier, so I don't know. We got a regular hollow in that. And it looks like the last pack is going to be a Vivid Voltage, and then we have, um, like, our cards in here, and then I assume there's going to be a PSA card under there, which should be better than the hollow one that we got in the bronze tier. Let's go straight through this one as well. Riolu, Sandile, Welmer, got a Weedle, Lycan Rock Reverse. Jolteon, another non hollow striking out. All right, so um, we have, it looks like, some more of these sort of, like, custom packs here. Let's just open this one up. I'm um, not, looking, not looking too good on this first one. It's just um, a Machamp from Champion's Path. It's not really the, a rare hollow at all. It's one that you pull all the time, and then it looks like we're going to get a bunch of bulk. And then maybe something at the end. Let's see. Oh, another celebration. So these are hollow, but they're basically like commons because you get like four of these in every pack or three or four kind of like in the bronze one more uh but we'll see oh this charmander actually is pretty sick that is actually a really nice artwork um i honestly don't know what this was from it's definitely a promo but i don't know where you would get this one from uh, i like the look of that one that's a really cool card is there something else in this one or is it just a big sleep i think it might just be a big sleep we, uh wooloo got pan sham come on Anything else? Oh, no. It's another Celebrations. Darn it. More Celebrations. All right. But we're going to see what this last thing is in here. It's a PSA graded card. But is it better than our Bronze? It, sh it should be better. It should be better. Butterfree V. There we go. That's a full art. Okay. This is what we needed right now to get our value, hopefully. Uh, all right. Let's see. Butterfree. Darkness of Blaze. Full art. It is a mid nine. Not too bad. We'll take it. Our, our Butterfree saved the day. We got around $32 or so in value out of this one. That, that turned out okay. The Butterfree basically saved this box. It was looking really bad before this. All right, the moment that everybody's been waiting for. Here we have our gold tier box. If we check out the back here, within this box, you'll receive one PSA graded Gem Mint 10 Ultra Rare or better Pokemon card, along with three booster packs and various cards. So it says the same part over here, except for right in here. The Gem Mint 10 is guaranteed on this one and we don't have pikachu on here i don't know pikachu's gone just a mystery question mark so this one was 53 dollars. so it's a little more expensive than the silver tier now let's see what we get this one's a little more exciting i think all right oh so it looks like we got a brilliant stars booster pack on the top there let's see if we get that out of here all right let's start off with this one very nice set to open up one of my favorites from sword and shield we got bidoof on the front there code card going out Let's do four from the back on this one. Should have three packs in this as well. Seems like we've been getting different packs out of uh, these things. Well, there was fusion in both of those, but we'll see. Piplup, Collot Stadium into a Cramble V. All right, all right, all right. Battle styles it is. I don't know. Not the biggest fan. Um, unless we get that Tyranitar, which would be amazing. But other than that, not too much. There's a couple, but there definitely needed to be more big hitter cards in this set. They just didn't have non hollow. All right, our last pack in here is going to be a Vivid Voltage booster pack. So let's crack that open. Then we're going to get to the cards, which um, I don't know how I'm feeling right now about those. Not looking too crazy. We better have a really nice PSA card in there. This, again, was like uh, $53, I think, for this tier. Right around there. Voltorb, Rockruff, Wismer, Trubbish. Come on, baby. Riolu. Bring us the goods. No! No good cards in these packs, really. I mean, there was just like a V or one or two Vs. All right, let's see if this is better. Um, we got a hollow from 2016. Garchomp started off here. Pretty cool hollow pattern. But we got Mankey now. Growlithe. Come on. Sigalith. Something good in the back. I don't know about these handmade custom packs, though. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. It's more celebrations common. All right. Um, I think all of our value is probably going to be in that PSA graded card or most of it besides the packs. These really are kind of not great at all. Uh, I'm going to assume this one's not going to be good. And it's not. Let's go straight to it. <laughs> all right. So, yeah, those packs were pretty much worthless. The, the, the ones that were custom, you know, maybe a dollar or something. Um... The packs, maybe we got around $10 in booster packs. But right now, 
all the value, all the value is right here. So none of these things are made based around just the PSA graded card and everything else is pretty much similar, which could be definitely be the case. So we're expecting a 10 on this. So I don't even need to cover the grade up. We're just going to show the card. And the card with the gold tier. Oh! I like the Butter Freeway more. A regular V Lucario. From Ch oh, and it's from Champion's Path. Ugh. So this one's actually worth right around what the Butterfree was. I honestly preferred the silver tier. I think that one was the best bang for your buck. The gold tier, we definitely were not really around the $53 range at all. But let me know what you guys thought about these mystery boxes down below in the comment section. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button on your way out. Also, feel free to click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you on the next one.